All right, what's up out there in YouTube land? This is Andy Saves Money again with another video. Today's topic is one that lots of people get confused by, is how do I put new RAM in my computer? But more importantly, how do I know what RAM to put in my computer? So I'm gonna go through that a little bit today. I'm gonna give you a basic breakdown of stuff on your motherboard so you have a clue what you're looking at. And then I'll show you how to install the RAM and then I'll even show you how to find the right RAM for your system. So first off, I've got a motherboard sitting out here so you all can see the components. So I'll give you a basic breakdown. Obviously the first thing you see is this big heat sink on top. The processor is this little guy down here in the bottom. It's just a little square about this big and it's maybe a quarter of an inch thick. It's a tiny little guy, puts out a lot of heat. So you have your processor. The other big heat sink you'll see on your board is the North Bridge. And North Bridge handles communication between your processor and your RAM primarily, but you know we won't get too far into that. And then you can see your power connector here, your peripherals here, network, monitor, serial if you have it. Some place, some computers don't have serial ports anymore. On the other side, you'll see this is where your USB would plug in here, or your um, your front panel would plug in here, your lights and your buttons in the front. These little guys here that have nine pins are USB. And so when you have a, a USB port in the front of your computer, the inside will plug in right here. And then you can see along the side, these are SATA ports. And so these SATA ports are what are used to plug in your CD drives, your hard drives. And this board actually has a USB port right here. And you'll say, well, why do you have that USB port? Well, if I wanted to uh, boot my operating system like a, to a VMware, because this is a server board. So if I wanted to use VMware or some other virtualization software, I can actually plug a thumb drive in here and I can run my virtualization platform off of the thumb drive and then use my hard drives to store my virtual machines. But we won't get too far into that. So here you can see your PCI connectors. You know, Normally your video card will be in a, in a slot such as this. This is IDE. IDE is for your older CD-ROMs and uh, uh, hard drives. It's not used anymore if you've bought a computer recently. But of course the most important thing and why we're here is the RAM. So you can see this RAM here. Um, this is a server board, but this is DDR2 800 megahertz. And so most people say, okay, well, I got two more slots. I want to put more RAM in. Well, it's really easy to put in RAM. You have these little connector guys here that they click in and out, right? So normally your slots will be closed from the factory. So all you're going to do is click your slots open. It's just a little plastic clip. And so you RAM, when you get your RAM, you're going to notice that there's a notch and one side is slightly shorter than the other side so when you look in here you can kind of hold it up and see okay the shorter side is this way so to install your RAM you simply line it up in the slots because it sits just like that and it'll sit down like that and so you simply reach in and you push down on the top of the RAM at the same time as you put gentle pressure in the sides of the clips and they will just clip in just like that when the RAM is seated your clips will click all the way in to these little notches that are on the side of the RAM. And so for the second second stick, you simply repeat the procedure. You just set it in nice and easy like that. Push down on top with gentle pressure and then push in the sides and it'll click right in. So it's just that easy to install sticks of RAM. Now, I realize this is completely oversimplified because this is a motherboard sitting on the counter. So for your edification, I'm going to take my uh, big Antec case here and I'll show you the same procedure with a computer loaded full of stuff. So as you can see, we have the same components in here. We have our heat sink, we have our north bridge down here, here's our two existing sticks of RAM and here's our two more. Remember these SATA ports I showed you? Here's your SATA cables and they go to your hard drive and your CD drive over here. Uh, this this uh, uh, case happens to have a, a fan to top which is pretty efficient at pulling out heat. As we all know, heat rises. And in this case, there's actually a power supply at the bottom. Uh, some cases the power supply is up here. You'll know where it is by where your plug goes in. So this this case has a power supply at the bottom. It's, it's pretty nice for cable management. Um, so what you're going to do, you're going to start, you're going to pull your little clips out to the side. And so you got your two new sticks of RAM and you say, okay, well let's look and line them up. It looks like the short end is at the bottom. So we're going to just put them in top and bottom like that. We're going to push down the RAM 
and we're going to click it in and you can do one side at a time if you have to and it's just that easy if you have to push hard you're probably doing something wrong because the, the ram will slide most of the way in those slots without much force at all so we just click in one side and then the other side uh, you want to be careful not to put too much pressure on this heat sink this heat sink is is bolted to your motherboard some of them have a metal plate on the back for reinforcement some don't uh, but you want to be careful because if you push too hard on this heat sink you could possibly crack your motherboard so be careful not to put too much pressure on anything inside this board now i've showed you how to put it in and it's really not a very uh painful process at all so now i'm going to show you how to look for ram and to determine what type of RAM goes in your system. Alright, so as promised, we're going to go to www.crucial.com, C R U C I A L. And uh, you can see here we have the system type. We're going to go down to Dell because I have a Dell, the series, uh, Precision Workstation, and then my specific model, it's going to be Precision 690. And we click Go. And so you can see here, it gives you what your system is, and it'll tell you your type of memory that you're using. Uh, in this case, the DDR. It will tell you your system maximum memory. It will tell you how much per slot your system can hold. Uh, it takes all the guesswork out of figuring out what can go in your system and, uh, and what you need to do with it. And so you can see they give you a little extra system information talking about 32-bit and 64-bit systems don't worry about that um, unless you have a really old computer it's probably 64-bit capable um, and then they actually give you a little bit information down here about uh, slots and whatnot but uh, we don't care about hard drives so we're going to uncheck that box and show all the memory and as you can see we start at the bottom one gigabyte two gigabytes which is one gig stick times two working our way up to the top now for my system it said you must install in pairs so I'm gonna obviously want to buy something with two but uh, you can see their price it's pretty outrageous so what we're gonna do is copy the type right here and we're gonna pop on over to eBay and now you can see you can find all kind of great deals on memory I mean look at the price now you may see this ECC non ECC thing uh, unless you have a server you're not gonna be using ECC memory it's gonna be non ECC so if you have a server you're probably not watching my video but there are plenty of choices here on eBay uh, one more thing I'll show you is uh, if we go back to the main site here you know we're here now if we go we click on the middle link on their little bar here you know they have a built-in scanner tool so if you don't know what kind of motherboard it is click on this little download scanner save the file to your desktop and uh, basically you will, they will scan your system and tell you what kind of motherboard it is and what kind of memory it takes even if you don't know what kind of motherboard you have if somebody built your computer so this little program guy here will scan your computer and uh, it takes about 30 seconds or so but it will tell you exactly what you need and uh, it takes all the guesswork out of it so even if you're not sure and so here we are it tells me the type of system I have absolutely correct and then you'll see the same information as we had before how many slots how much it can hold per slot so I uh, just thank you for watching this video and I hope it was educational for you and uh, as always if you have any questions or comments or you need further explanation feel free to uh, give me a shout send me a comment and uh, I'll make sure that uh, we answer your questions this was a production of handy saves money and I'm saving you money by stopping you from buying stuff that you don't need until next time be safe out there in YouTube land